We are here at 2012 Flames Development Camp where nearly 40 men are trying to prove their worth to the organization. One of them anxiously awaiting his pro debut is Michael Furland. He showed up last spring in Abbotsford, but with an injury suffered at the end of his junior season, never got to suit up with the Heat, something he's hoping he'll do this fall. I'll have to come in and have a really good uh, summer camp here, you know, uh, especially try to get an uh, impression uh, for the coaching staff. And, you know, I just want to go out there and just uh, work hard. You know, I yesterday, I, you know, I kind of, I wasn't, I didn't want to be that guy to start hitting. You know, I didn't really hit that much yesterday, but, you know, I guess, uh, I guess there's hitting now, so I just got to start using my body a bit more. You know what, Michael, I mean, the thing, he's a big guy with good hands and it can be physical. And, I mean, I think people talk about it, you know, he's tough and he can fight. We don't really want him to fight. We want him to be a, a guy that comes in, be a physical presence, so finish his checks, take pucks hard to the net, make it hard for other guys. And if something does arise, I mean, we, you know, he knows what to do out there. And, and that's what's one thing maybe our team's lacking a little bit is, is that true grit and size. And, you know, you saw Akeem Alou last year come up, and it was a perfect fit for us. So, I mean, we, we're looking for that, and it's really going to be a battle. I mean, Akeem, you got Michael. These guys are all going to be pushing because they have something that may Maybe other guys don't. They, uh, you know, but the one thing about him, he's got skill. He's got a great shot, and you watch him in practice. He knows how to use his body and size and to protect pucks, which is always a good thing in the NHL. Tell us about your time in Abbotsford. You didn't play, but I'm, I'm sure you, you soaked up some info. Oh yeah, for sure. I went up there, and met all the coaches, all the players. Uh, you know, it was a great learning experience. Now, if I go back back there, I'll know the players and know how it works. You know, uh, it's a great, uh, great opportunity for me. Well, Michael uh, showed up, obviously comes with a good pedigree. He's uh, been able to play in the Western Hockey League. He's been able to make some make some plays and get some points. Uh, obviously, um, physically, he's gifted. He's a big man. Um, he's got to continue to mature. Uh, I thought in the, in the spring of the year, you know, he showed up. He had a little bit of a nick, like he was a little bruised up when he got there. And we'd like to insert him in one of those games, but that prevented him just because of where he was at physically. But... Um, you know, he's a guy that we noticed right away because of his ability, even with that small group out there that he was with, he could make plays in tight areas, and he gives you a size. Like, and one of the things we didn't have a lot of in certain areas last year in Abbotsford was size. So he gave us a little bit of size on the wall. Um, and now we've got to go into this, you know, his first full season as a pro. And, and probably his biggest challenge would be just what's ahead of him as a man, not so much as a player. Like, there's things that he has to work on as a player, but can he live the lifestyle? Can he show up every day and be a consistent player every day? Uh, you know, I think I got to, the way I think of it is the, the way I get myself in the game early is I got to throw a hit or, you know, uh, maybe get into a fight or something. I think that's what really gets me into the game. Uh, other than that, yeah, I've think of myself as a, a power forward uh, you know if I have a chance to score hopefully put a puck in the net here and there and uh, yeah definitely mix it up here and there if I have to. Tell us a bit about growing up it sounded like you were late into hockey as an organized sport versus just as a hobby. Oh yeah I, uh, I started when I was eight played novice house league I uh, tried out for a few teams here and there never ever made uh, made the next step up till uh, my first year midget uh, I ended up making the AAA team and played there for two years and then got protected by Brandon Weekings and been there for three years. So did that all come quickly, being just a house player and then all of a sudden, boom, when you're in your mid-teens, you're a prospect, so to speak? Oh, yeah, you know, playing house league, then finally, you know, I remember making the AAA team. I was really, really excited. Then to try out for the Brandon Weekings while they're hosting the Memorial Cup. I ended up making that team, and then a uh, year after that, get, end of the year, ended up getting drafted by Calgary. So, you know, it's all happened so fast and uh, been so surreal, for sure. He's got a lot of ability. He's got a lot of, you know, a, a really unique combination of sort of size and strength and puck protection. But he's also got the really soft hands and the ability to do things with the puck that usually guys of his size and, and thickness don't do. So it... His skill set is very, very unique in his ability to protect the puck and whatnot. Obviously, he's got a. It's really going to come down to, to how badly he wants it and whether he's willing to put in the time and the effort and the discipline. You know, obviously, that's always an adjustment. You got young kids that are trying to make a real big jump, and in Furlan's case, it's a matter of the conditioning and the work and whether he's doing the things off the ice that he needs to do to make himself successful because from a from an ability standpoint, he's got a lot of interesting tools, and the challenge for him will just be to see if he can can get him out of himself. Is he a rarer commodity when you talk about maybe grit and skill, or a guy that just can come in and bang bodies organizationally? 
Yeah, well, um, we define skill as guys that can do it in traffic and buy time with the puck, and obviously he has the ability to do that because of his his thickness and his his weightiness, his physical intimidation, you know. And there are guys like that on the ice, but usually they don't have the kind of hands that he does, and it, it does make him sort of a unique player in that regard.